Have you ever played at a venue where you were expected to basically pay to play? What I mean is they forced you to sell a certain number of tickets to be able to be on the bill or, you know, they said that you have to bring a certain number of people to even be considered for the performance. I find this to be so frustrating, especially if you're performing in a new area. But I had an experience like this when I was first performing and it just left a really bad taste in my mouth around these kinds of events. So I was playing at the Coach House in Orange County and it's the kind of venue where there's a major performer that headlines and then they have two opening bands that are local. And so we were trying to be one of the lo local opening bands. And basically what they said to us is, whoever sells the most tickets by the you know by a certain time in the afternoon of the day of the performance that person will be billed second and then the person who sells the least will be the have to be the first person and we knew that the one that was first was going to get the crappiest sound like nobody was going to pay attention all of that and we had all like gone out and invited lots of friends and sold tickets and all this stuff um i had you know been very intentional about selling tickets at work and getting people all excited about it and everything and then we got to the night of the performance and the other band just decided to buy up enough tickets to get ahead of us so they could have slot number two and that was just ridiculous i thought that should not be allowed and so then we ended up having even though we'd done all this work to get all these people to come we ended up being in the first slot first opening slot which meant and it was very very true we got terrible sound like we were up there and the bass was just like overpowering everything and i just it just sounded like super muddy and you know it's hard to tell with what we were hearing was what the audience was hearing but of course afterward people that i invited told me yeah like the bass was just overpowering they didn't even seem to care about giving you any decent sound and these kind of practices are what really piss me off about the music industry in general and that's what i've been fighting against for years just kind of exposing venues that do this because i do not think it is right i don't know if the coach house does this anymore it was a very common practice 10 years ago hopefully venues are not doing that as much anymore because people have been speaking out about it and how bad it is for artists and how unfair um, and also just the whole thing about the sound person just not you know giving you good sound and i don't know maybe the practice there is you need to like bribe them or whatever you know be super nice to the sound person i don't think it should ever be like that we if we're out there selling tickets and trying to bring people to an event we should be respected like any other artist so I just wanted to tell that story. If any of you guys have been involved in something like that, know that you're not alone and let's just fight against those practices so venues don't treat artists that way anymore.